So if I traveled uh, from Italy yesterday, uh, it is because uh, this is a very defining uh, moment uh, for Fiat in North America. You know, from 2010, when we had uh, really, really nothing, we had no brand, uh, no awareness, no dealers, no network, to this, which is not uh, an achievement, it's just a milestone, it's an important one. We had just one nameplate, it was 500, uh, plus it was not any nameplate. I mean, if you think of it, uh, 500 um, is great, it's everything that makes uh, Fiat a uh, Fiat. Uh, it's designed to be different, it's full of heritage, it's cute, uh, it's small, it's spirited, it's fuel efficient. And with, with, with this, uh, I mean, uh, it is also everything that makes it very challenging for this market. Again, it's small, it's cute, it's fuel efficient, which especially today uh, with uh, gas price uh, is, is not no longer a very strong argument. Um, it's um, not really capable. Uh, uh, it, is, it might be seen as too exotic, too manual, not automatic enough. Uh, so that's for 500. Uh, and um, still, uh, in 2014, as uh, Jason uh, said, um, we achieved an amazing result with this one uh, nameplate. 60,000 cars sold uh, in North America. It's not a huge number. Uh, we'll never be a, a mainstream journalist, but for a brand like this, it's an amazing achievement. Keep in mind that our objective uh, was 50,000. Uh, plus 60,000 is uh, something more uh, than what uh, Mini uh, has sold. I mean, speaking apple to apple with the equivalent um, uh, category of car. Uh, it is um, also, it's not just about numbers, you know, Fiat uh, and what has been done here, uh, which is an inspiration uh, really for Fiat all over the, the world, is creating a, a brand which is not just aspirational. Uh, Fiat is never going to be a premium brand. Um, it is kind of aspirational, but more importantly, it is inspirational. And when you see this kind of marketing, I'm not just referring to the uh, last uh, commercial, but uh, to, to the opening video, um, I, I liked it because it shows you uh, how uh, this little brand coming from Italy uh, can, be, uh, can create something, creates almost a, a movement, creates uh, pride, um, it creates inspiration. So, Fiat, as I said before, is not craving for volumes, I mean, my uh, objective is at some point uh, with a full line uh, to sell 100,000 cars in this country. At some point. I mean, it's just to throw a number and to say that on one hand, it is, uh, how can I say, it's a challenge. On the other hand, it is 100,000 cars. It's not much uh, in this country. So it's not about volumes. Uh, it is um, about uh, clearly being an ambassador of Italy. Uh, it is about um, having a sustainable dealer network. It's somehow also about opening the path uh, for Alfa Romeo. I mean, our, our boss never uh, has never had a big hand in this. Um, so this is uh, Fiat here, uh, or this is what Fiat has been here. So now. Uh, today, again, uh, it's a defining moment, it's super important uh, because it's a second act of Fiat uh, in the United States. Um, so Fiat's next act in the US uh, clearly starts with a challenge, or started uh, with a challenge. Uh, so after all I said about Fiat and uh, Fiat being a challenge for this country by nature, by essence, by DNA, uh, so how, looking at the car, how can you make uh, a new model, a new Fiat, a new car, a new product, which is 100% F-I-A-T, Fiat, but also 100% A-F-I-T, a fit to this market. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, really, uh, this has been our challenge, challenge along the, the, the way. So now, is this 100% a Fiat? I think that was really the purpose of this meeting today. Uh, what I heard 
uh, is uh, that it is. We've heard about heritage, design, substance. Um, so our purpose today was really to convince you uh, that uh, this is 100% fiat, not just by design, not just by style, but um, by nature. Now, is it going to be a fit? And that's the real uh, question. And that, honestly, is not a question for us to answer. Uh, it's a question for you uh, to answer. And that's a little bit the reason why, on my way to Detroit, I really want to make this stop over here. It's not the most logical uh, of, um, uh, on a geographical standpoint. It's just so important because um, you, the client, are, you and the clients are going to tell us if this is uh, a potential fit uh, to the market. So, and this is here and this is today. Uh, what I, if I had to summarize the reason why I expect it to be the fit of the game, it's not up to me, it's not up to us to, uh, to, to say, um, is uh, a little bit about the X, you know, uh, the letter X. When I landed yesterday in, in LA, I noticed um, the airport, LAX. So I saw it bodes well for, to, to launch a car called X. But really, uh, I went on Google and tried to know what does the X of LAX stands for. And uh, really, uh, it appears it doesn't stand for anything. Um, <laughs> uh, so what I, I, I wanted to tell you to do today is that our X stands for a lot of things. And you heard. It stands for extra, who spoke about, I think Matt spoke about extra. Extra means the features, the way it's loaded with content, with safety features particularly. Uh, I heard about exceptional, and, and uh, probably we should have insisted more on quality. I mean, quality on this car uh, has been the number one, on these cars actually, because this is a, a, a project, um, uh, it's a two cars uh, project, it's an X and it is a Renegade. So as you can imagine, uh, quality has been totally pivotal uh, from uh, the beginning uh, to the end of the project. Um, extreme could be another X, uh, and I'm speaking of the capabilities. I mean, this 4x4 um, transmission that was missing so much uh, to the uh, small uh, 500 hatch uh, because we needed to, um, uh, we needed to sell, we need to sell Fiat, not just in the in the sun belt, but also in the snow belt. Um, exhilarating for the engines, uh, extroverted, looking at all the colors uh, behind you. Uh, so this is a question, no? Uh, is this Italian crossover going to cross over from Italy uh, to the U.S.? So um, will an Italian icon from 1957. Does a car like this have the capacity uh, to become uh, a must-have also in America? So again, as I, as I told you, it is in your hands. Um, honestly, if I, if I make some soul searching, I'm too biased uh, to be even credible. I mean, this project uh, has been part of my life uh, for the last three years. Um, really on a daily uh, basis, uh, the concept, the design, uh, the execution. So as I say, this is a defining uh, moment for the brand and this is, uh, more importantly, a defining product uh, for the brand. So now you are going to drive it, you are going to uh, test it and, and more importantly for us, uh, you are going to write uh, about it. So I'm incredibly uh, looking forward to, to hear, to listen, to share uh, and, and to know uh, what's your opinion about the car and, uh, and uh, obviously hoping in a confirmation uh, that uh, this uh, defining product, this defining moment um, is going to be also the defining product and moment for America. Thank you.